All right, the holidays are approaching, right? We have a lot of dinners and parties, and maybe you want to throw a few. And so I'm going to give you some hostess tips that will help you so you can create a beautiful ambiance, have a great time in your home, and to help you not feel razzled. Okay, number one tip I have for you is make a plan. So before your party, what type of party is it? Sit down, pen and paper, and plan out your party. Are you making it a potluck? Are you cooking everything yourself? Make your menu. What are you gonna have to eat? What are you gonna have to drink? And what activities are you gonna have? When you know what you're doing and you can plan it out weeks or a week before your party, you will feel less anxious and your guests won't see that. They won't see you razzled and you'll be able to be relaxed and enjoy your party. Okay, tip number two I have for you, have a greeting station. So when your guests come in, do you have a spot for their coats? If you want them to take off your shoes, where would you like them to put their shoes? When they come in, greet them and let them have a spot to be able to lay down their things. If it's in the winter, do you maybe want to put like a basket out for their hats, their gloves? Tip number three, have some snacks and appetizers ready for your guests when they come in. It really is a great icebreaker, so have some apps and snacks out ready to go. Tip number four, have a drink station. An area in your kitchen or somewhere where they could go and help themselves. They can make their own drink. And make a drink station where the kids can go so they can help themselves, where it can be easy. Tip number five, create an ambiance. No matter what type of party you're having, formal, not formal, beach party, holiday party, 4th of July party, create an ambiance. Have some music. Maybe light some candles. Have a yummy smell in the house. It's nothing worse than going into a house that has a really weird or odor, believe me. Um, uh, one year, uh, this fish smell came out of my vacuum right before pie night. It was horrible. It was horrible. Guests were showing up within minutes and instantly my house smelled like fish. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. Tip number six. If you have a party where kids are coming, have some activities for them. It's nothing worse when kids can get into mischief, believe me. So maybe have some games out, some activities to keep them busy and occupied. Tip number seven. Accept help. I know when you're having a party and you want your guests to be able to just chill and relax, but you have so much that you're still wanting to get done, let them help you. This creates friendship, this creates bonding, and it's fun to serve one another. So if someone asks, can I help you with anything, let them jump in. Tip number eight, have a to-go station. Have an area where guests can bring home leftovers. Maybe you have some plastic bins or boxes that your guests can put some leftover foods and bring a doggy bag home. And bonus tip, are you ready? This is a big one. Are you ready? Relax, have fun. That's it, that's all I got for you. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And if you have any tips for me, please leave them down below. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon, bye. Yeah.